when we were lost. Jesus died upon the cross. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Sing like never
midnight call, we are behaving at all. Hallelujah. I mean, on this resurrection. Hallelujah. Morning. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Just picture the Lord Jesus Christ hanging on the cross this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. They, they hang him high. They stretch him wide. Glory to God. He bow his head. Hallelujah. For us he died. Oh God. Not even our mother, not even our father. Hallelujah. Our brothers, our sisters would not have done that for us. Let us be appreciated this morning. Before we sing another song, we just want to send up some praises to God this morning. I want this house this morning. I want to hear this house this morning send up some words of praises unto Almighty God. Oh, it is just no quiet praise this morning. Hallelujah. Let a hollow. Hallelujah comes from the depth of your heart this morning. Shout it out this morning. Shout it out to him this morning. I said shout it out to him this morning. God is not dead. God is not dead, man. God is alive. He is alive. He is alive. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my
Williams. Just go ahead and worship the Lord. Go ahead and praise Him. And this crucifixion morning and this fr Good Friday morning, let us exalt the name. The songwriter said He was crucified, rejected. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Somebody give the Lord worship. Somebody give the Lord a praise in the house. He's worthy. It was for you. It was for me. Why he did it. Hallelujah. Not of have him own. Not of his own. He did it for you. He did it for me. So we have a right to give him thanks over 2,000 years ago. He went on the road to Mount Calvary, the lonely road of Golgotha, and he laid down his life for you and I. Hallelujah. So we are to be grateful. We are to be thankful as we enter into his house. Hallelujah. This morning, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we are about to commence our worship and our praise unto Jesus this morning, please can you turn your redemption hallelujah to the book to 120, 137 hallelujah there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's way sinners plunged beneath the flood blood of all their guilty stay hallelujah to Jesus
shall be till I die as we gather hallelujah the heart of a prayer praise the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 let us come to the altar hallelujah Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus let us all talk to the Lord this morning redeeming blood is redeeming blood why we are here this morning hallelujah hallelujah Lord we worship you Lord we exalt you Lord we magnify and we glorify your name this morning father in your presence Lord we humbly bow in your presence, Lord, we humbly come this morning, God. Lord, we come into your house, Lord, to offer worship. We offer the sacrifices of praise unto your great name. Jesus, over 2,000 years ago, Lord, you trod the road of Golgotha. Lord, you went to Mount Calvary. Lord God, and you was placed on a wooden cross. Lord God Almighty, nails were driven in your hands and your feet, Jesus. But Lord Jesus, you did it for me, Lord God. You did it for all of us this morning, God. So the writer, writer remind us, Lord God Almighty, in his word this morning, God. You didn't have to do it, Lord, but you did it. Oh, God, and you did it for me this morning, Lord. And I am grateful. I am thankful this morning. And this Good Friday morning, Lord, we are gathered in this house, Lord God, because it's you, Lord, who have paid it all. And all to you we owe this morning. The writer says, sin has left a crimson stain, but you wash it you wash it whiter than snow and so Lord as we gather this morning to show our appreciation Lord in commemoration Lord Jesus Christ of what you did on the cross Lord God at one point Jesus when your humanity stepped in Lord you realized the agony you realized the pain the Bible said Lord in the garden you pray until your sweat became drops of blood and this morning Jesus with all those agony Jesus you cry out to your father my God father if it be possible let this cup pass from me but nevertheless not as I will but as thou wilt and so Jesus you went all the way oh God and you went all the way for us and this morning we are saved because of the shed blood Lord that gushed out of your side when they pierce your side oh God almighty blood and water gushed out and a pool oh God was formed at the foot of the 
cross that I can come this morning. Oh God, you are not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. So this morning we come with our infirmities. Lord God, we come this morning with our heart of gratitude, of thanksgiving this morning, God, in recognition, Father, of your all sufficiencies, of all that you have done, oh God, for us. Oh God, when you went all the way, when you went all the way, Lord Jesus, and laid down and gave it all for us. And so this morning, in appreciation, Jesus, we come to thank you. We come to praise you. We come to honor you. Lord, Satan thought it was over and done when Lord God Almighty, you hung on the cross when you bowed your head and you gave up the ghost. Oh, Jesus, he thought it was finished. It was over. It was done. But Jesus, there was a resurrection morning as you promised that, Lord God, you will be oh, killed. You will be buried. But on the third day, you will rise again. And so, Jesus, we're glad this morning that you did not stay in the tomb. The grave could not hold you because they reminded the high priest that before you die, you said that you will resurrect. So they decided, Lord, to place guards, oh God, around the tomb. But Jesus, the guards could not keep you down. Lord, the stone at the grave, mouth could not keep you down. Lord, and so this morning, because of all that you did, we are here this morning, oh God, to give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, for dying. Thank you, Lord, for being resurrected. Thank you, Lord, oh Jesus Christ, for saving us, oh God, from the penalty of sin. And this morning, Lord, the writer say, be slave to sin no more. Be slave to sin no more. We are not slave any longer because you did it, Jesus. And so, Lord, as we enter, this morning we enter with thanksgiving. Lord, and even now, Father, we enter, Lord, with our sinful ways. Lord, and so, Lord, we repent, Lord, of every sin that we have committed. Lord God, sin known, sin unknown, confessed and unconfessed the sins of omission the sins of commissioned this morning father we repent and ask forgiveness god that thou will forgive us oh the writer said oh have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression for I acknowledge this morning my transgression, God, my sins are before me against thee and thee only. Have I sinned? Have we sinned? And commit evil in thy sight. Wash us thoroughly from our iniquity. Purge us with this up this morning, God. Jesus, before you leave, Lord, you said to your Father, O oh God Almighty, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. And so this morning, because of thy word we say sanctify us consecrate us now to your service lord by your power of grace divine as our soul look up this morning with a steadfast hope let our will this morning be lost only in thine oh god only in thee oh god jesus son of god we commit ourselves and we commit this Good Friday morning service, Lord. Into your hands, God. Take the stage and have your way this morning, God. When you don't take your glory, Lord, we will be satisfied to see you glorified. So this morning we pray. And I pray for the set man and woman of this house, our chief shepherds, the personal of Bishop Apostle, Dr. Delford and Dr. Petrova Davis, 
we commit them to you we commit the ministers we commit the elders we commit the evangelists lord the exalters they are the deacons oh deaconesses missionaries oh christian workers we commit them all to you we commit all dedicated servant leaders that are in the house those visitors those who are viewing from afar we commit them to you and we say lord god do as you please in this house do as you please in this service all ministries of the choirs and those who will minister to your people this morning father we commit them to you to your keeping and to your care this service god it is in your hands god take full control have preeminence father from the rust up to the pew from the greatest to the least among us let sinners be converted but slide the lord god be reclaimed and oh god the saints will be strengthened oh god and you will be glorified father we are in your hands thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven this morning father we know not what to do this morning but our eyes are upon thee oh god take center stage god breathe upon us pour in fresh oil and wine pour out of your anointing upon every person in this house this morning lord let there be a move like never before lord let there be a word spoken as has never spoken before lord god let there be a shaking lord has never experienced before oh god because we are your people and the sheep of your pastors so we enter into your gates with thanksgiving lord we enter your courts with praise and as we offer up lord the sacrifices of thanksgiving the sacrifices of praise hear us from this house hear us from the sanctuary and hear us from your heavens above and look unto us this morning god as we cry unto our father we said lord have your way have your way father have your way in this service god have your way in this hour god because god the glory be thine though the praise be thine and the victory be ours because you went all the way and you did it that we might have life and that we might have life and more abundantly in the name of your son jesus heavenly father we thank you heavenly father we praise you heavenly father we exalt and we adore you for that which you have already done that which you are doing now that which you will continue to do because your word remind us father that before they call i will answer and while they are yet speaking i will hear so thank you for answering thank you for hearing us this morning it is in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen hallelujah 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 to god as you make your way back to your seats just continue to lift your hands and worship our Lord, our Master, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior this morning is worthy. Show the praise unto the Lord. Show the praise unto Jesus. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, but He did. He did it. He did it for you. He did it for me. He did it for all of us this morning. So somebody don't be silent on Him. Don't be silent this morning. Don't be silent this morning. Just preach that Jesus going up to Mount Calvary with the cross. And he would have fallen down with it. But thank God, he got up and he went all the way. And that is enough to be thankful for. He did not give in. He did not give up. He went all the way. And so we can say we love him because he first loved us because he first loved us somebody clap your hands for the Lord give him a loud clap offering of praise hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let me take this opportunity to honor the spirit of the Lord God who is in this house. This morning is worthy of glory. Is worthy of honor. And let me take time out to greet our chief shepherd. Bishop Apostle Dr. Delford and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, Reverend Isilda Noteman, and all the ministers and elders and all the saints of the Most High God, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad that he went all the way for me. I'm glad that he went all the way for us. And hence we can gather on this, oh, Good Friday morning, we call it Crucifixion Morning. And we are here this morning to worship him. Praise the name of the Lord. The book of Matthew, chapter 27. Hallelujah. Shared a great idea of what Jesus went through. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to read... The verses from the verse is 19. Praise the name of the Lord. And we'll go over to verse 37. Hallelujah. We read the scripture together this morning. And verse 19 says, When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with this just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. Hallelujah. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will he that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas, Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They are, say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. Oh, when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hand before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, so he to see it to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Then answer all the people and said, His blood be upon us and our children. What a cruel oh, Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. The people answered and said, Ah, Jesus. His blood be upon us and all our children. Then release E. Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him as. as call it robe and when they had plotted a crown of thorn they put it up on his head and the reed in his right hand and they bowed their knees before him and mocked him saying hail king of the Jews and they sp spit up upon him and took a re the reed and smote him on his head and after that they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put it on his own raiment on him. 
and led him away to be to crucify him. As they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come unto the place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garment as in lot that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet they parted my garment among them and upon my vesta did they cast lot and sitting down they watched him there verse 37 and final and set up over his head his accusation writing this is Jesus the king of the Jews praise God hallelujah the Lord has spoken let the church say the Lord has spoken let the church say amen this is what they did to our Lord hallelujah somebody put down your Bibles and give the Lord praise give the Lord worship the people say, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. They went all the way to get rid of Jesus. But thank God Jesus went all the way that he could save us. Hallelujah. So I give the Lord thanks this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Coming to do the official welcome and acknowledgement is our exalter. Corinne Bent, she will be coming to give us the welcome and acknowledgement. Please wake her welcome in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus. What evil has he done? But all the way to Calvary he went for us so that we can be set free. If you're free this morning, I just want you to say... This Friday, this good Friday is a God Friday. This good Friday is a God Friday. That terrible Friday has been called Good Friday because it led to the resurrection of Jesus and his victory over death and sin. Good morning, visiting friends and saints of God. It's a pleasure and an honor to welcome you to our Good Friday Divine Worship Service here at the Power of Faith Ministries International at Portmore Town Center, St. Catherine, Jamaica. At this time, we acknowledge the presence of the Blessed Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the Trinity, who is active and very present in our midst. And we also acknowledge our distinguished, dedicated, diligent founders and leaders, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and his wife, our outstanding International First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. We also acknowledge our dearest Reverend Isilda Noteman. Acknowledgement is also extended to our ministers on the upper platform and the lower platform. This morning, we honor the sacrifice of Jesus. The way he was crucified, his suffering, the tortures he went through, and the painful death he had. This morning is not just a Good Friday. It's a God Friday. At this time, I invite all visitors across the sanctuary to indicate by the waving of your, of your hand. Do we have any visitor? Bless the name of Jesus. And saints of God, please make our visitors welcome. You can give them a handshake. Thank you. To our viewers and browsers 
both home and abroad. We are happy that you have chosen to fellowship with us this good Friday morning by connecting on the various social media platforms and cable networks. To our officers, musicians, ushers, AV departments, elders, prayer mothers, members, friends, and well-wishers, welcome to our Father's house. We believe that each person who walks through these doors is here for a divine purpose, and today we have a powerful service planned just for you. This is the house of God, the place where miracles happen and lives are changed. So whether you're a first, second, or a frequent visitor, this morning, on behalf of our Bishop, Dr. Delford Davis, and Minister Dr. Pe Petrova Davis, the ministerial body, officers, and members, we are excited to have you with us. We encourage you to stay for the full feast and come back for as many a serving as possible. Congregation, put your hands together and make our visitors, viewers, browsers, members welcome. As a reminder, Easter season is not just ceremonial. It is not just celebratory. Easter validates the grace we receive through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus so that we may reveal the power which is given to the saints to, uh, to bless the world. It takes more than just celebration. To give witness and to replicate the power of God it takes commitment. It takes divine worship. It takes power. Acts 4 verse 33 remind us. And with great power gave the apostles witness of resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And grace was upon them all. This morning, saints of God, we have access. We were given that same access that the disciples got. Through his blood, life, word, and presence, we have that power. It is not just a good Friday. This morning, it is a God Friday. God bless you all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, exhorter. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Praise God, at this time, we'll have greetings from some of our ministers this morning. Praise God, they will be coming to give their Good Friday greetings to the body of Christ. Please make our ministers that will be coming to give greetings. Praise God. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Let us praise him another time. Glory to God. That's why we are here this morning. To give God praise. So could you just stand on your feet and lift your hands and praise God with me. Let everything that I pray praise the Lord. Praise him again. Let's praise our God. Glory to God. God bless you. You may be seated. That's why we are here this morning. Praise God. To praise our God. Because he's worthy. And this morning, I want to greet our bishop. Bishop Dr. Davis, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, all my ministerial colleagues, praise God. Minister, I said a no man, praise God. Saints of God and everyone that are be viewing this morning from different media platforms. 
I want to greet you this morning in the precious name of Jesus. Praise God. He's worthy to be praised. Over 2,000 years ago, he gave his life on the cross at Calvary for us. Oh, praise God. And there is nothing left for him to do for us as his people. Everything that is to be done, it is already done. Oh, praise God. And it's for us to know who we are and what we are about. Oh, praise God. So we are here this morning just to give God praise, to give him glory, and to give him honor. The scripture tell us he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Oh, praise God. And with his stripes, we are healed. Oh, glory to God. I said, with his stripes, we are healed. You may be here this morning. And you may be having aches and pain in your body. But praise God, our sin sick soul, glory to God, has been healed. You can go to heaven with pain and aches, but you cannot go to heaven with your sin. But praise be to God. Praise be to God. If you believe that you are healed, just stand on your feet and lift your hand and praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. I wish you all peaceful and happy holy Easter season in Jesus name God bless you does he still feel the nails every time I fail can't you hear the crowd cry crucify again and again? Am I my cause sin and pain every time I fail? I can bear the thoughts of hurting him. Does he still? Feel the nails every time of faith. Can't you hear the crowd cry crucify again and again? I'm my cause, sin and pain. Every time I fail, I can bear the thought. Of heard in him. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord.
over 2,000 years ago, it was a very sad moment. How can we call it a Good Friday when it was a day of execution, a day of torturing, a day of bloodshed, a day when our Savior was dying in an executional way. But I come to declare on this Good Morning Friday why it is a Good Morning Friday. It was a good morning Friday because it defeat the devil. It was a good morning Friday because he conquers the enemy. Death and the grave was conquered. And we're here this morning and we can rejoice because our redemption has been secured. Our hope has been restored and been secured. And we can worship God this morning. Because we have been liberated. We have been emancipated. And we thank God this morning for the shed blood of Calvary. Oh praise God. Hallelujah. And so we give God thanks this morning. For the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so because of that, we honor our bishop this morning in such a special way. Praise be to God. Put your hands together for him. Praise be to God. We honor the woman of God this morning, our international. Praise God. Woman of God, Dr. Petrova Davis, and to all the ministers, I greet you well. Before I take my leave, I say to us, brethren, do not take this day ordinary. Never you take this day ordinary. It was a day when all highs were set on the masters to secure our eternal life. I greet you. Have a holy and a blessed Easter. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. One more time, a hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. I greet the holy presence of God first this morning. I greet my pastor, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and his wife, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. I greet my ministerial colleagues, praise God. Minister Isil the Noteman, praise God. I greet the prior workers, I greet just about every elders, the visitors, the viewers, I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. It is a blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, it will never, almost 2,000 years ago, but it will never lose its power. Hallelujah. Another writer said there was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. Praise God. Today, today I'm rejoicing because the blood was shed and the blood washes whiter than snow. It still washes. It still washes. It still cleanses. Hallelujah. Whiter than snow. I wish for you all. Praise God. My pastor and his wife and the ministers. Just about everybody, I wish for you all a happy and holy and peaceful Easter season. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. We lift our hands and worship the King of Kings. We bless his holy name for who he is. The wonderful God. The all-encompassing Savior of this universe. Redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die. Hallelujah. I am redeemed. Have you been redeemed? Bought with a price. Jesus has saved my own life. If anybody should ask you today, just who I am, what would you say today? 
What would you say in the sanctuary? I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are here to celebrate our redemption today because Jesus paid it all. Hallelujah. All we have to do is to follow his precepts. Hallelujah. And his instruction and his command. And eternity will be saved for us. Bless the name of Jesus. Are you happy that you're here this morning? When we are in the house to worship, there's a fire. Hallelujah. Because we come together in the presence of the triune God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me use the opportunity to greet our bishop and founders, Bishop Dr. Delphi Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, all the, my ministerial colleagues, all the saints, all the officers, and our viewing audiences. We are in the presence of God, the house of God today. And what we're here to do is to worship. We are not sad today. We are rejoicing today. We are celebrating today. When I look where the Lord has taken me from, hallelujah, to where I'm at today, there must be celebration. Hallelujah. Just celebrate him a little bit more for me, with me. Hallelujah. So on this special day, I want to wish you a happy and a holy Easter. And may your day be filled with love, joy, peace that passes, surpasses all human understanding. Continue to worship the Lord and bask in his presence. God bless you. Enjoy your Easter in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, ministers. Thank you. Thank you. And at this time, we'll be having our choir ministry from one of the best. <laughs> Because yeah, the fake choir will be coming to minister to us at this time. Where you to put your hands together and make the choir welcome as they minister to us. God bless. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, this is a day for celebration. Raise your hands in his presence this morning. Come on, shout a high praise. Lift up your voice and shout to the Lord. Hallelujah! So this morning we are here to celebrate Jesus, to worship him, to honor him. I take in consideration today the scripture in Psalms chapter 24 from verse 7 to 10. I consider those verses on this day that Jesus Christ was crucified. The devil thought that he won when he saw him hanging on the cross and when he gave up the ghost. I don't think Satan have ever heard hell gates not before. But on that day he heard a knocking. And somebody said, who is it? He said, lift up your heads. Oh, he gates. Be he lifted up. He everlasting door. The question may be asked, who are you? He said, let the king of glory. They said, who is this king of glory? Jesus said, the Lord strong and mighty lift up your hands oh he gets <laughs> hey hi over Hashem he could have just walked in but he didn't want to do it like that he wants hell to open it and let him in this wasn't just any normal soul coming into hell this was the king of glory. So today we are here to celebrate that victory. Amen. Just raise your hands one more time. 
Come on, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's what he did for us. Seated in majesty at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. Praise God. Thank you, choir. At this day, we'll receive a ministry from the gifted hands. They will be coming to minister to us, please make them welcome as they do ministry. We celebrate you. God, we bless you. We want to invite you to come down to the front. Potter's house, you know how we do. Hallelujah. God, we lift you. If you would open up your mouths all over the room and call his name. Call his name. Powerful name of Jesus. Awesome name of Jesus. Healing name of Jesus. Sustaining name of Jesus. Wonderful name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. He is our healer. Call the name of Jesus. He is our provider. Call the name of Jesus. Jesus, he is our deliverer. 
Let's put our hands together and celebrate what God is doing in this hour. Oh my God, lift up your hands and give him a praise. Give him another praise from the depth of your heart. My God. Thank you, Jesus. I just thought I would interject to welcome and acknowledge the station that has joined us, radio station, and has been carrying the broadcast since commencement and will be through the entirety of this Good Friday service. Amen. Fit FM 96.7 out of Duncan Strelawney by radio dial by Facebook internet around the world. Our sister Julia Mikkel Benaya, the Lord bless you and all the family of Fit FM 96.7. Let's give Fit FM 96.7. A big hand across Portmore, St. Catherine, across Jamaica and the world. God bless you. So all those of you are tuning in and fit FM, stay right there. You'll be with us for the entire service today. God be prayer. Praise. Amen. Praise God. But remain standing as the praises come. We do what the Lord would have us to do this morning. So stand. Remain standing. As we have some praise expression at this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord 
about to take my leave introducing the choir to you hallelujah I am grateful I am thankful for the man Christ Jesus and I leave with you this verse of a song that I love hallelujah Said, Lord, oh Lord, I am guilty. I know I should have been crucified. Those rusty nails were made for me. But Jesus came and he did it all for me. He didn't have to die, but because he loved me. He has walked that extra mile to save my soul. And I know he did it all just to save me. And so this morning, it doesn't matter what hell say, what the devil say. Jesus already paid the ultimate price. Because when Satan thought it was over and done, while he was hanging on the cross, he didn't know that there was a resurrection morning was coming. He didn't know that Jesus already knows the end from the beginning. And the Bible says, as our exhorter said earlier, he walked down into hell. And he says, give me the key. And he took the keys of death and hell. And he gave it to you and he gave it to me. And this morning I am grateful that Jesus said to Peter, I give to you the keys to the kingdom. And whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And what thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So this morning we have power. We have authority through the shed blood of Jesus Christ and hence we can rejoice that he's no longer in the grave he's sitting at the right hands of the father right there he's sitting today making intercession for you and I and one day sooner than later he will be coming back he will be coming back again I will be coming for the saints who are ready prepared and ready to meet him God bless you. It was my joy. I served you this morning. Hallelujah. And this time I want you to put your hands together and make the ministry of the voices as inspiration choir welcome and true as they are true. Please let us stand together and receive the set man of this house. Our pastor, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Make him welcome when he come. God bless you in Jesus name.
remain standing, please. A prayer of thanksgiving to the Lord for what he did for us over 2,000 years ago. Lord, we acknowledge the sacrifices that you have made when you manifested yourself here in this earth in human form. You left your splendor of heaven. You knew exactly what the destiny would be here on earth. But you offered yourself willingly. We thank you because you became the vicarious sufferer. So today we can declare that we have been forgiven. Forgiven because mercy walked in. Forgiven because you pled our case before God. And here we are this morning as redeemed sons of God. Children of the kingdom. We are eternally grateful. Accept our thanksgiving this morning. Accept our praise. Accept our offerings, O oh God. And all the crowns that we'll ever wear, we will lay them down at your feet. And we'll say, all oh, hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Jesus. We join the 24 elders this morning who bow low around the throne honoring and praising you. Thanks to Calvary. We are not the men we used to be. Thanks to Calvary. We are not the women we used to be. Thanks to Calvary. Things are now different than before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your people across this land. Bless your people across the nations of the world. All those who recognize you and surrender to you as Savior and Lord. Bless your people. Save the lost. Reclaim the backsliders. Heal the sick. Strengthen the saved. And grant, O oh Lord, that your name will ever be glorified. We give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, that you rent the veil in two. Thank you, Lord, that you cried, it is finished. Thank you, Lord, because you drank the vinegar, vinegar and gall to the dregs. Thank you. You could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the world and you'd be set free. Glory to God. But you died alone for all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Now lift up your hands everywhere and give him thanks. I did say a prayer of thanksgiving. Give him thanks and give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you. We worship you. To worship you I live. To worship you I live, I live. To worship you. Jesus. To worship you I live. We're on the worship us. To worship you I live, I live. To worship
high praise. Clap your hands and give him a high praise. God bless you. Be seated, please. Greetings to one and all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Minister Davis from Production 2024. Would you join me here, 2023? You had some outstanding young people. All of them were outstanding. But a particular viewer wanted to be a blessing to these whom she considered to be most outstanding. Would you call their names and ask them to come down and receive their gift if they are here, please? Praise God. On behalf of those who will be receiving, I want to express special thanks to Vanessa Campbell. Praise God as she expressed her love. And these are the persons to whom she has sent her token of love. Jada McCain, if you are here, please come. Brother Nathan Stewart. Sister Rashisha Montague. Well, she was not, but she's a recipient who went and so she's included. Evangelist Marcia Foster. Sister Shanae Brown and Sister Tremaine Graham. All right, you can collect same from me. God bless you. Wonderful. Minister Troy Patterson, I had this for you for some time. I think I saw him here. Yeah. Give him a hand, please. Happy Good Friday to everybody. Just a few things briefly before we get out of this way. Uh, come the 20th of April, Jamaica Brailers will be having a very powerful celebration at the National Stadium, Fun in the Sun. These cards are here for persons to take with uh, five spaces for you to write the name of five persons that you want for God to save. And not only will you write their names, but you'll be praying for them and also inviting them to attend the event at the National Arena on the 20th of April. 2024, it's an all-day affairs with all kinds of events and activities. Of course, the gospel stands out above everything. So before you leave today, we have already given out quite a bit. We still have some more ushers. Make sure you distribute them on today. And if any is left over, we'll do so on Sunday. So you write the names of five persons that you want God to save. And you begin to pray for those five persons and also to invite them to the function there at the National Stadium. Amen? Amen. We have a few persons who ask us to have them baptized on today. Are you here? Please let's identify you. We are going to do the formalities here in the church and then take you to the ocean. If you're here, please stand and let's see you. We've made the arrangements, so you've asked us. Walk down here, please, and let's see. Just walk down here briefly. And I did ask if there are other persons who would want to participate in this Easter Good Friday baptism. It's a good thing to do at a good time. 
Some of these persons live overseas and would want to be baptized before their return. But we're getting more than we bargained for. Look like a big baptism. What is this? Christian people, all denominations, rise out of slumber, pick up your Bible, give the devil a war. All right, after the message is preached this morning, the altar call is given. The next thing for me to do is to have you to go through the formalities. A short word of testimony, uh, your vows, and the charge, okay? And then maybe about 11.30, maybe noonday, we'll take you in the coaster bus down to the ocean and have you baptized according to your request. Give the Lord a big hand for them. All right, go back to your seats. Thank you. goodness he that believe it and is baptized shall be saved all right please join us for Sunday morning one service fifth Sunday 31st East the Sunday resurrection morn a very special one like all the others have been we will be given the specific instructions as to how you apply the use of your prayer on kerchief that you have received. The pastors in our assemblies will also be tuning into the service to get the specific instructions. And those who have already received their supply, yesterday I was in Saint, well, Manchester, I brought down Bishop Sutton. You got your supply, so you will be uh, demonstrating just like we do here on the 31st. Same thing for Brooklyn and the others. So please ensure that you bring your prayer handkerchief on Sunday morning. Amen? Amen. Everybody would have received by now. Don't tell me you don't get any, okay? Some of you have taken multiple amount for all members of your family. Please be mindful of others. All right, join us the first Wednesday coming up on our heels first Sunday also and then Sunday evening that's 31st one of its kind in this church house Easter hallelujah with Minister Davis and everybody and all of us it's going to be a tremendous evening so we want you to plan to be here I do remember also that I asked that we bring a special offering on Sunday morning to do what we need to do. Recoup where we need to recoup. So you're not going to tip God Sunday morning except you can't do better. Go to the bank and draw some money. Come with your debit and credit card. So a good resurrection seed to help a church that is doing many, many wonderful things for people and for the Lord. Amen. Those of you in Miramar, Miramar, yes, I should be seeing you shortly. You would have heard the announcements there. Uh, I might just be with you for first Wednesday, Miramar. I might just be with you for first Sunday also. So all of you, my viewers across Miramar, South Florida, wherever, join me at the Miramar Assembly. First Wednesday, first Sunday, I might be here too. You never could tell. So we hope to see you. Stand with me, everybody. <laughs> Lift up your hands and give God praise in the house. Worship his majesty. Come on, go ahead, man. Don't just give a little one dry hallelujah. Let out of your belly flow. Reverse of living water. Let something gush out. It is there. Release it. It is there. Release it. It is there. Release it. You know, 
I have said some times ago publicly to the preachers whenever you have a burning message and you don't want to preach you can ask me I'd, I will either tell you yes or no the only person who have ever taken me up on this is the person who is going to preach this morning the only person so I, Minister Maraj has been out there preaching all over the place I think he was at uh, prison yesterday yeah the South Camp no well not South Camp Tower Street uh, the men prison a rough prison and he has been on the circuit all over because of his his calling his gifting his testimony his background many people are calling up on him, up on him to share and he, he has offered to preach for me this morning and I say yes no problem put your hands together make welcome minister Michael Norman Mirage God bless you good morning church you know I, 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 I must give thanks to the Lord help me welcome the Holy Spirit again and again and you know with all humility I must say Bishop I have also prepared Sunday morning message <laughs> and and um, and I've also prepared first Wednesday and then I'm roaring to go because dear Lord we had a wonderful time in the prison yesterday and you know sir I tell you this that I bless God we have all blessed God for you and Dr. Davis over and over but there there are some times when you go on the street and things come home to you that really is the the, the fruit of the work that you and Dr. Davis has been doing you could put your hands together for them and by extension it's really the fruit of all members and visitors of the power of faith ministry also you clap yourself <laughs> Give me a, a couple of seconds. Let me just tell Bishop since the door has been opened. Sir, I was speaking for UTEC um, Wednesday. And uh, one of the graduates are soon to be graduated from the business with his full-fledged degree. Whether it's a first class, second class, or ordinary degree, but will be coming out of the university as a successful candidate. He's one of the students in 2018 where we started that outreach program with the ACC class that through this church leadership and members, the funds, the, 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 the building, the resources have transformed of the 100 at least one. Oh, somebody help me pray. Sir, I take time to say the gentleman said, Dr. Davis, Minister Moraj is carrying me the wash, you know. And I cut grass, and by faith, a church, sister, somebody must continue to spread the good news. Say, so something is happening over church. It's not my name, then they say, over church. Just come. And he came with his pants under his bottom. That's why I tell you, you know, don't look on the outward, you know. No, the same brother, if I had judged him, well, I know not to judge. Looking at how him look and seeing him now in the AC Marriott, the same hotel that we had the fourth year, sitting among the soon to be graduated as part of the final accounting seminar. I said, What a mighty God we serve. And I got 
got another surprise yesterday in the prison. When I'm about to leave, the gentleman nudged me and said, You saw the tent nice? He said, I want to get tent from. He said, Bishop Davis sent it. <laughs> I love that man from Galilee. Put your hands together for 
all the ministers and the elders. Everybody. Good Friday is always a hard time for me. You know, because um, when I reflect in a personal way what God has done through his own son. Sometimes the 24 hours for me is, is very long. And my wife will tell you that I, I can't watch the, the, the shows. I, I can't watch them. Because when I think of he came out of the heavens of the heavens for poor little me. I, I know I'm not worthy. And, and my eyes are, you know, swollen all the time. And I don't have words enough. Sometimes when the movies are coming, I'll watch them. Not just Easter time. As you reach up to the crucifixion, my wife turn off the TV and say, come. We can't bother with the ball. You know? <laughs> we have to talk the truth. He went all the way, Minister Brian. To Calvary. We, we, we were in Jerusalem and they, they showed us a part the way of the cross and they showed us many places where he stopped and when we read ministers um, the agony that he endured for us and you look at the distance that he was still going but he went all the way. You, you should be you, you, you should be worshiping. You, 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 you should be just lifting up holy hands and, and worship him. change even that this was not done for ministers this was not done for bishops and reverend it was done for everyone who believe and accept him that we might be reconciled to God father we stand in your house this morning in humility and we humble ourselves, almighty God, under your mighty hands. You showed us love beyond our imagination. You showed us love that words cannot express. Even the disciples, Lord, ask the question, What manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us? And Lord, we are here still trying to figure it out. Still trying to understand. Still not able to comprehend the measure, the length, the width, the height, and the depth of your love for us. But we humbly receive it. We humbly walk in it. And we ask you, Lord, even now to forgive us for taking your love for granted. For the very same reason why you are to come. We are still continuing in those ways. We are still having the same practices. We are still behaving the same way. None of us is excluded. From the greatest among us to the least among us. But the shed blood at Calvary. Stand there every day. Making intercession for us a love that never fade so we give you all glory we give you all honor we worship you we magnify your name and we make mention of you Lord glorify yourself today wipe my mind clean and use me as your seed fits 
Let words of encouragement go into the heart of your people today and into their minds to remind them in a special way today. It's not just about bun and cheese and fry fish and good time. It's a time of reflection of a price no one could pay. So minister to our hearts today, God. Minister to your leaders, to the ministers, because raise them up in power of faith and all the other churches. Strength to your man and woman servant, God. With the anointing, for they are your chosen vessels. Raise up their families. Raise up their business. Raise up everything concerning them. Raise up the members of this church. Raise up their children. Open up doors for them, Almighty God. And defeat every devil in our life. Every witch and warlock. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ against you. We stand in this liberty today. And declare Jesus as Lord. Lord, we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Worship him and be seated. And from the book of Hebrews chapter 10. And I'm going to read 10 verses and get right into it. And I'm going to read from the King James Version. It's a portion of text that you know very well. You know that these messages, you have to get them from the Lord. Because there's high anticipation of what would you say as a vessel of God on a day when almost everyone in this church could preach this word today. For the long having a shadow of the good things to come. And not the very image of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers thereon to perfect. For then would they not cease to be offered because the worshippers once purged should have no more conscious conscience of sins but in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of gold should take away sins wherefore when he cometh into the world he said sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not but a body has thou prepared me in burnt offering and sacrifices for sin, those had no pleasure. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, sacrifice and offering and burnt offering and offering for sin, thou wouldest not. Neither had pleasure therein which are offered by the law. Then said he, lo, I come. To do thy will, O oh God. He take away the first. That he may establish the second. Tenth and final. By the which we. By the which will we are sanctified. Through offering of the body of Jesus Christ. Once for all. Somebody just stand to your feet again. And, and give him another note of worship. It took the sacrifice of the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Somebody give God a praise. Please be seated. I am very careful this morning with this word, as always. For we all know what the, the scripture says. 
And if there is any visitor inside here, I want you to help them. Ask your neighbor down there, are you a visitor to the church today? And ask them again, are you a born again Christian? And if they answer no to the latter question, then tell them I'll help you along the way. For as we pay careful attention to what Hebrews 10 has to say, for the law having a shadow of the good things to come, tell the neighbor there are better things to come. Oh, you're not, you're not preaching with me. Tell them there are, there are better things to come. The church nice, but heaven nicer. Oh, you're not hearing me. Voices are inspiration. You're saying good. But wait till we reach up into heaven when there is no sickness, when we don't have nobody a bad away, when we can worship freely. Oh, you're not here in the church when there is no trouble, no problem. Can you just worship a minute and worship past your troubles, worship past your problem, worship past some? But my supervisor, today is the day we focus on God. Come on, church, you're not worshiping. There are some death. You see, if we just focus on the better things, when I worry about some things you have gone wrong in our life, you know. If we just focus on the better things to come, it doesn't matter what kind of water you go to, what kind of flood you go to, you know they are better. With the same sacrifice, I, I, I'm going to come to it quick today. May those who approach perfect, for then they would not cease to be offered. And this is the part that I want to tie to the, the, to the ninth and the, and the tenth verse. That he said that the worshippers, once purified, would have no more consciousness of sin. For in those sacrifices is a reminder of sin year to year. My brothers and sisters, it was a burden for all children of God to be searching for lambs that are without spot or blemish. It was a burden for children of God to be finding the right things for the atonement of their sins. Oh, you're not hearing me. It was a burden for them and then it became a massive commercial activity right there in Israel where they would take special cares of the goats and the lamb and the heifers so that they could sell what you want because they know you are coming once a year and the goat must sell the lamb must sell the cow must sell but the Jesus that we serve but the God that we serve so it is not possible for the blood of bulls and of goats to take away sins oh somebody help me praise God I'm going to preach a little bit like Bishop today, you know. You know, I love to jump from left to the right. But I'm going down into this world today. It is not possible for you to just walk and, and do some little hunky-punky like some church still doing until today. There is no good blood to atone for your sins. There is no cold blood. There is no blood of love. There is only one blood that can atone for our sins today. That's why the Lord said when he came into the world sacrifice and offering you did not desire. But a body you are prepared for me. Oh somebody help me praise God without this perfect body being prepared salvation would have been lost. But thank God for Jesus for turning it around. 
Let me go down into the ninth verse then. Then he said, Behold, I come to do thy will, O God. He takes away the first that he may establish the second. Look for your neighbor and say, Neighbor, God change up things for me and you. Oh, you're not hearing me tell them, Neighbor. God change up things for me and you. Give somebody a high five and tell them and slap them. And say, God change up things. So the theme this morning, an act of amendment. Oh, you're not hearing me. It is an act of amendment. Nothing was wrong with what God instituted for sins. It was perfect. It was well written. But we needed an amendment. Just give your neighbor a help on some neighbor. We, we, we needed an amendment. We could not work. We could not fulfill it. We needed an amendment. That's why Paul jumped in Romans 8 and said that the righteous requirement of the law might fulfill in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Look by your neighbor and say, neighbor, flesh couldn't get it done. Don't have too much confidence in yourself. Flesh couldn't get it done. Oh, come on, tell somebody else. Got some people now here. Flesh couldn't get it done. Don't have too much confidence in your PhD. Flesh couldn't get it done. No, I have no confidence now. You're big type. Uh, I feel a worship raising up in the church. I feel a, I feel a burning praise in the atmosphere. Who must release it? Release it. We're not, we're not good. Nobody for your house and, and title. But the righteous requirement of the law could not be fulfilled in flesh. Title could not do it. The Pharisees could not do it. The Sadducees could not do it. The wonderful temple could not do it. Oh, somebody help me praise God. Somebody jump up and shout. Hallelujah. Minister Scott, flesh could not do it. House could not do it. Money could not do it. Because the blood of the bull, the blood of the goat, the burnt offering was not adequate. But Jesus... If we don't have no worship, no other day, two days we must have worship. Good Friday and resurrection. Without Good Friday and resurrection, church now no power, no have no authority. King only can what me care and what me do. He never need key again for care and do. He just walk up to it. It's all we are catch, we are catch on, you know. The world just a catch on to what the Bible has said a long time. When Bishop walk up to him, car, he not use no key. He just touch the door and it open. Technology a catch on. A long time the Lord said, I give you power. A long time someone must just declare some things and things start. I catch technology, I catch on to what God tell me a long time. He says, speak those things that are not as though they were. The key are open, but me no see no key. Then I hold the key the door open. Because the key sends the owner. The key sends. The 
amendment is a formal or official change that is made to law, contract, constitution, or any other legal document. It is based on the verb to amend, which means to make something better. Look by your neighbor and say, neighbor, we have something better to work with. Oh, tell somebody else, say, neighbor, what we have received is not something worse. We have received something. Oh, somebody at me, praise God. Say, neighbor, what we have received is not something worse. Is something better? Minister Peter, what we get better than what was there. But can I tell the church when we growing up, them say you get good, better. But you know what soon come? The best is yet to come. Can you call the name of the best thing you ever get? Some people say a sliced bread. Some people say a cheese. But I lie them I tell. Call the best name. Call the best name. The best thing. That is. this that that an amendment is oftentimes used interchangeably with the term modification and the term rectification but an amendment is not the same minister what you're saying because a modification Look at a change before the thing occur. It means that it has not been well thought out. And the modification could therefore change processes. And it could therefore change outcome. And a rectification is making reference to something that has gone wrong. And something that is wrong is with the design. And it means that everything is going awire. And you have to take the necessary steps. In order to correct it. But an amendment is different. An amendment, the goal that you start with, the goal remain the same. And when you realize that you're going off track, you don't modify it. You don't rectify it. You am Because the goal remain the same. And that's why Peter said, if nothing was wrong with the law, God himself find a fault. Because we, touch your neighbor and say, and we could not fulfill. We could not follow the righteous requirement of the law. Okay. Okay. So all this time you think sitting there wrong with the law. And we could not follow the righteous requirements of the law. Isn't that what the scripture say? All right. It's good Friday. But here comes the amendment. And Peter said, let me tell you something. To support this amendment, when they questioned him, I love Peter writing, you know. Because Peter said in 2 Peter 3, and I think it's verse 9. He said, God is not slack concerning his promise. Not that any should perish. Here comes the reason for the amendment. God want all of us to come to what? 
repentance and nobody should what? Perish. Oh, somebody help me praise the God of heaven. You know that God will do anything to get us into heaven. Can I, can I digress a minute? That God will do anything to get a sinner into heaven. According to the book of Luke, I, give, me a, give me a minute. Let, let me just reason for a minute. A neighbor, make a reason for a minute to show you how God will do anything to get a sinner into heaven. Why would God want a shutter? Why would God want a scammer? Why would God want a backbiter? Why would God want a homosexual or a lesbian or a gunman? A God make them. God are the creator. Look by your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know your mother and father make you. Them do what God tell them to do. But I got David said, he formed my inward parts and covered me in my mother's womb. Let me come back and check. And in the book of Luke, I think it is 16. I'll take in one minute. I'm coming back to. There is a certain rich man. And there is Lazarus. You know the story, man. You know the story. And, and, and the both rich man and Lazarus died. Lazarus was in Abraham's bosom. And the rich man was in, was in hell. And the rich man said, listen, give me some water. He said, send, send Lazarus. Make him just dip and you know the story. But the rich man had a request. And he said, I'm asking you. Lord Jesus. The rich man said, I have a request. What is the request? He said, send Lazarus. Go to my family. I have five brothers. Tell them to accept Jesus. Tell them to accept the Lord. Tell them to take Jesus. Look by your neighbor and neighbor. A good thing. We take Jesus. Oh, somebody worship him. A good thing. You know, some of you going like it's a burden. Come power for it. Help me this morning. Make some people know. Christianity in a shackle. Christianity in a backward. Forward. Backward. Somebody help me worship. Some people are behave. Like when you turn Christian. And mash your life. Mash up. Mash down that lie. Show them how to worship. Show them how to sing. Show them how to dance. Come and power feet. I don't care about no other church. We are a bad church. We are a call out church. We are a redeemed church. Jump up by your and show them we are called out. We are bought out by the blood. Minister, we are called out. We have been purchased. Look for your neighbors and neighbor. You know no backward church. You're not on a backward ministry. You're not on a backward fiat. There is one fiat, one Lord, one baptism, one cup. Yes, 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 yes. We have an act of amendment. this tie into this message you will see he said tell him to go Abraham said you have the prophets and you have Moses tell them to listen to them look at neighbor and say neighbor we have Bishop Davis we have Minister Dr. Petrova Davis you have I still a reverend I still a no man 
You must talk to them. Talk to them. You have Andrew Brown, Minister Andrew Brown. You have Minister Brian, Minister Campbell, Minister Peter, Minister Michael Smith. Lord, Lord, look how much me. You have so much. How one long minute this? That's why Paul said in Philippians 3 17 Beloved, join in following my example for you have us as a pattern. We're not Christians, so we don't know what to do. Look at your pastor and do what he do. Look at the pastor wife. Dress like how she dress. Behave like how she behave. Talk like you're not hearing me. Look good at your pastor. Paul said to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 1, Imitate me as I imitate Christ. There is so much example for you to follow. Nobody not telling you how to dress God dance on the no door. A good Friday. Let me rejoice in the liberty. Let me finish the one minute. And la, the, 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 the rich man said, I don't want her Moses. I'm coming back to the word. I, I don't want the prophet. What do you want? Him say, I want one from the dead. Hey, it's when people don't want to give them life to Jesus. They ask the impossible thing. Oh, you're not hearing me. That's why Bishop of two services know what someone is going to say. I shouldn't be preaching like this on a good Friday. You know? What are some of you going to say? Know that we have 11 o'clock service. Can you say you couldn't come seven? Bishop just rub out some people, excuse a while ago. Because if you wake up late for seven, you can make it to eleven. And if you get up a little later, we preach at twelve o'clock, still come and bring your offering. When they don't want to give their life to the Lord, they make up all kinds of Let me tell you, Minister, they make up all kinds of excuses. But let me finish this point and come back to the word. He said, send one from the dead. And I say, you know, God, God could, you know. When Peter said, God is not slack. God changed up things and gave us an amendment that the Son of God would come into the world and humble himself. And became obedient to the point of death. God said, You want a dead man? I'm going to send a man come dead in this place. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Everything you want, you get. You get Moses. You get prophet. You get bishop. You get reverend. You get minister. You get elder. And you get dead man who rears from the dead. Up from the grave, Lord. Somebody help me worship God. Somebody help me praise God. Look by your neighbors and neighbor. What else you could have want? You get Moses. You get prophet. You get minister. You get elder. You get reverend. You get bishop. You get prayer warrior. And now you get dead. And him raised from the dead. Look on your neighbor and say, neighbor, no more excuse. Come on, voices of inspiration. Jump up and help me worship. No more excuse. No more delay. No more reason. Everything up. God has made things. God changed up things. Uh, I feel the worship again. I feel it. 
I feel the worship again. I feel it. I feel a worship, man. Come on, church. Yes, Minister Brian. There is a there is a praise in the church. There is a thanksgiving in the church. Oh, come on, church. God are meant things not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. said for all we like sheep have gone astray and we have turned everyone his own way but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all And, and, and Isaiah said again in 59 and 12 why we are in dire need of an amendment from Isaiah 59 and 12 he said for our transgressions are multiplied before us and our sins testify against us for our transgressions are with us. And as for our iniquities, we know them. Just, just touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, we know what we do. Tell somebody else, we know what we do. And Isaiah said in 28, Minister Smith, and from 8 verse, for all tables are full of vomit and filth. No place is clean. Who will he teach knowledge? Who will he make to understand the message? You said it. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little. There a little. Tell somebody we need an amendment. We need it. An amendment. The Lord said, Precept must be upon precept. Line must be upon line. Here a little. Some church now run right. Them no line up right. Them a preach Jesus. But them have a little who be a night. You can't take darkness. Will not. Oh, you're not. You're not. You're not. Some of you now listen to me. Them have preached the gospel, but they mix it up with some Egyptian practice. Oh, you better leave me now. Some of you got an office. I made them a tell about going to your office and rolling in your office, and they won't get you out. If God went fire you, you're going to get fire. If God put you there, no man can fire you. For he who trusts in the Lord is like Mount. Look for your neighbor and say, neighbor, anywhere God plants you, no hope you can move you. Anywhere God set you up, you're well set up. God precept must be upon precept. Line. Somebody sprinkle some blood, sprinkle some, sprinkle some, sprinkle some light. Come on, church. This is a mysterious moment. Jump up on your feet and say, sprinkle little gospel, sprinkle little love, sprinkle little kindness. Flash your hand, man. Here a little. Here. But 
we are like an unclean thing and all our righteousness are like filthy rocks yes minister chambers filthy and we all fade like the leaf Isaiah 64 and 8 and our iniquity like the wind has carried us away but we have an amendment that has placed us back where we truly belong I use up the time the way of the Lord permitted me but if I go in the book of Romans 5 now and finish in Hebrews where I started and I want you just for emphasis to jump to this verse and if I get it right I think it is 14 yes I got it right I just wanted to say it. I was going to say the whole 21 verse but let me just stop at 40 nevertheless that reigned from Adam to Moses and over those who had not transgressed according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam who is a type of him who was to come Adam messed it up he was the first Adam but the second Adam come in the flesh to demonstrate to the devil it was possible to do it in the flesh I don't mean I don't preach you know Christ came I'm finishing now in the flesh to demonstrate to the devil it was possible to get it done in the flesh look at your neighbor and say neighbor no matter how hard it is it is possible to be victorious in the flesh It was possible. Jesus said, I come and said, give me a body. Can the devil find all kind of fall to the body? He said, give me a body. Give me the same kind of body. What do you mean by the same kind of body? I want to burn out a woman. I want to spend nine months. Oh, you're not hearing me. I want to burn out in a pain. Same way. I want to be delivered. Oh, you're not hearing me. You're not here. Jesus, I give me a body. Let me demonstrate to the devil. Nothing was wrong with the law. But since you can't do it, I come to fulfill it. And call it done. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. I finish now. Hebrews 8, 7, 8, and 9. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. Because finding fault in them, he says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, when I led them by the hand out of the land of Egypt, says the Lord, because they did not continue in my covenant, and they disregard them, says the Lord. So Jesus said, I come down to make an amendment, because mankind is heading to hell. He said, prepare me a body sacrifice and offering God now no more interest in it he said lose the effect it lose the importance give the cow them a break give the lambs a break give the goats a break some of you take the sin thing for problem that's why Paul says should we continue in sin that grace may abound look on your neighbor and say neighbor we needed an amendment we needed something different. We needed. It was a sacrifice and offering. 
you did not desire, but a body you have prepared me. In burnt offering and sacrifice for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. In burnt offering and sacrifice for sin. And then he said, Behold, in the ninth verse, I come to do your will. He takes away the first, that he may establish the second. And by this we have been sanctified by the body of our Lord Jesus Christ and that's why I finish like this in Romans 5 Paul said therefore having been justified by faith we have peace with God tell your neighbor we are How did we get this peace? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom we have access into this faith in which we stand. Not only that, but we glory in tribulations. Knowing that tribulation produces persecution. And persecution character. And character hope. No hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit that was freely given to us. Stand to your feet, everyone. I sincerely hope that with all things and our bishop has been teaching and his wife and Reverend Isilda Nordman and all these ministers and evangelists and elders that you remember that God made an amendment for us because we could not fulfill the law. He said, I've been found fault in them. He said, all right, I'm going to do something different for them. And when they saw the law being fulfilled, I step into Sunday's message now. They say, in Sunday gone, not Sunday coming. Who is this that comes from Edom? With thy comments from Basra. traveling in the greatness of his might I will speak in righteousness mighty to save God can save from the uttermost to the uttermost they say why is your garment red like one who tread in the wine press he said, I have trod on the people alone. And from the people, there was no one with me. And their blood is sprinkled upon my garment. And I have stained all my robes. God mash up everything to his son. Crush down every devil's spell. Mash up every curse. Tread upon every generational curse. Step upon every lodge. Trump upon free me, sir. Mass up every Illuminati walking on the hill and said, Devil, were you paying attention when I said it is finished? And do I... were you paying attention when I said upon the cross it is finished?
I wonder if some barmyard people are here with this morning. It is finished. I wonder if some people we have practiced some little kissing. Tell them it is finished. Come on, power of it. Say it a couple of times. It is finished. It done. It done. It done. It done. Hell and the grave has been defeated. We have received an act of amendment and it is finished. If the pure and I give God a praise, worship him. The devil is a liar. He locked down some family. But it is finished. We have received from the hands of God. Not from God house. Not from White House. Not from the Senate. Nobody can go back in and change it. When the party has come out, nobody can go back in and say we give a new executive order. Nobody can change it. Nobody can modify it. Oh, come on, church. It done, it done, it done, it done. It is. Yes, yes, yes. And that's why we sing, I am redeemed. Grace 
of the woman Christ Jesus. <laughs> I'm asking you to come for your free gift. Some of you may not get no bun and cheese, but come for your free gift. Come, church. It's a everybody call. Come make the, make the God of heaven minister to you again to remind you that your receiver act of amendment. Come, church, come, come. Make it quick. Come on, church. The gift is not like the offense. For the judgment that came to one offense resulted in condemnation. But the free gift which came to many offenses resulted in justification. Come quick, man. There are some wicked spells that the act of amendment cut off what your mother did, cut off what your father did. There is an amendment. No more sickness, no more curse. Raise up on your feet and walk forward. No more curse, no more sickness, no more. in his presence make that request make that request
The sick discouraged ones to be encouraged, pray. The fallen ones to be lifted up, pray. In between us undecided, pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up to you every person in this audience. Those by television, those by radio, those by social media platforms, we lift them up to you. Oh God, your word came to us with a clear and crystal sound. We thank you for the amendment that you made. Oh God, so that today, we who were once far off have been made nigh through the blood of your cross. We thank you when you declared it is finished, that you settled it all for mankind. You paid the price in full. So that restoration, restitution, and reunion between us and our maker has become possible. Thank you, Jesus, that every lost soul can be saved. Every backslider can be reclaimed. And every believer can walk in victory. Because you defeated the enemy. Full circle. You defeated him in the garden of Gethsemane. You defeated him, my God, at Calvary. You defeated him at the empty tomb. And you also defeated him at the glorious ascension. And oh, what a defeat you will have when you return the second time. Save the lost among us today. Bring victory to every person. Now in the corridors of defeat, lead them out, Father. Get your glory today. Your honor and your praise. As we celebrate all that you have done. Oh God, for us on Calvary. Take the glory. Take the honor. Take the praise. Give us the blessings. In Jesus name. My God. Glory to the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Open your mouth and give God praise. Lift up your hands. Open your mouth and give God praise. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. What do you say? Jesus I thank you for the plan of salvation I thank you Lord that as you hung there on the cross you had me on your mind I thank you because you paid the price in full so I can be redeemed it is in your word that if I come to you, you will in no wise cast me out. Lord, I come just as I am. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me in your precious blood. 
let your death day become the day of my new life when I surrender all to you in the name of Jesus I invite you in now and I accept your forgiveness by faith and from this moment I'll begin my new walk with you in Jesus name amen well give him praise everybody join them give him praise Join them giving praise. Join with them and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hold on, hold on. Don't leave the altars yet. We all go in. I'm not finished with you. When the fisherman goes out in the ocean and he throws out his nets, he wants to see the fishes that are fit for the market, are ready for market. They're doing God's business. So those of you who have prayed the prayer, and not only that, but you have been heavily convicted by the Holy Spirit, whether in this service or in previous services, maybe at your bedside, maybe a dream that God gave you, maybe a saint of God that witnessed to you some times ago, but you know you should surrender to Jesus, and this is the day that you'll do so. You make a decision, lift up your hand, let everybody see them. Anybody make that decision? All right. Okay. Well, thank you all for responding in this way. We would hope that you would have responded a little further. The old saying in Jamaica is that you can lead the horse to the water. And he will, can die there for thirst in the midst of a gushing stream of water because he refused to drink. You must drink and live. You must eat the bread of life and live. Drink the water of life and live. All right, God bless you. Go back to your seat, all of you. But make sure you follow, follow. I will follow Jesus. His hands to guide me, I will never, never stray. Danger cannot harm me when my Lord is near. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow Him. a wonderful service great ministry from everybody great minister from the choirs great minister from the young people they want me to remind you that they'll be going on hike tomorrow morning that's why we don't see some of them here this morning maybe 130 of them thereabout we'll be going the hike tomorrow morning. You're asked to be here at 6 a.m. Preparing to depart late at 7 a.m. So all the hikers 
I hope you'll not be bikers. It's dangerous. So all the hikers, 6 a.m., you depart at 7 a.m. Hollywell, is that where they'll be going, I suppose, yeah? Hollywell, that's in the parish of my birth. Get your offerings, please. Father, bless us as we give an offering to your work on this Good Friday. What a wonderful service you have given to us. You have flowed through all the vessels that have been used. Accept our gifts and bless them. And bless us in return. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please walk down and give your offerings. Immediately after, we will be taking the testimonies in brief. From those who will be getting baptized. We will give them the charge, their vow. And all those who have been so prepared to go to the ocean to execute that aspect, we want you to do so. Elder, we know you'll have the coaster prepared. And if needs be, the other bus. There'll be no public service here on tonight. So you stay home, you pray, you read your Bible, you give God thanks. Sunday morning, we hope to meet with everybody. Bring your friends, your relatives, as we'll be demonstrating, maybe reenacting what we did in a scaled-down way with your prayer and kerchief on Sunday morning. Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, very, very special evening. You know all about it, I suppose, but you need to come and experience it in person, in reality, be it Easter, hallelujah. So please come along and be blessed. All right, the Lord bless you. Those who are preparing to be baptized, we want you to come a little closer down if you're way down the back there or down the front. We're going to get your testimony and do what we need to do. Please remember also to get, get the cards from Sun, Fun in the Sun. Five names that you pray for and invite to the event. The Lord richly bless you, as Bishop has just reminded us. On Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, we'll be having the Easter Hallelujah. And I want to let you know that something will happen here that has never happened in the history of the church. And you may be wondering what else could be done that we have not yet done. You have to come and see. All right, it's going to be phenomenal. And it's going to be one that you're going to be ministered unto and you're going to be blessed. And for you to know what I'm talking about, you have to be here on Sunday evening. Something will happen, something is going to take place, and something will be displayed that you have never seen in the 40 years of the Power of Faith Ministries. God bless you. Thank you. Those of you who have parked immediately before the coaster bus, we're going to ask you at this time to remove your vehicle so the coaster bus can exit its parking garage, okay? So all those who are parked immediately in the area before the coaster bus, please at this time, Go by and remove your vehicle so that the bus can be made available on the outside for all persons who will be using it for the water baptism. All right, may I invite, do remember that we hope to see you and yours on Sunday morning and our pastors on the field tune in to get the specifics as to how we will administer our special prayer cloth for 
2024 and maybe beyond. Those who are going to be baptized, please make your way down here at this time. You can begin to come. Please come on down. Stand right behind these gentlemen here. Yeah. Right behind. Hallelujah. God is moving. His spirit. In all the earth. And wonders in his moving. Oh. baptized and we are honoring your request we had it for just about three persons who will be going back to the USA many others have joined in and we thank God for you now take this microphone my lady tell us your name and in few words tell us why you want to be baptized okay we can't take the dreams and the visions and the revelation now you'll have the rest of your life to give all of those I hear talking to my right. Please give us your name and tell us why you want to be baptized. Go ahead, please. Hello, good morning. My name is Rochelle Watson. I, in 2019, I went to do a surgery. And I was bleeding inside. They told me that I can never have no more children. And literally in 2022, I have conceived a baby, which her name is Miracle as our pet name, and her right name is Katrina Morris. With God, everything is possible. And if you make a promise to him, trust me, if you don't fulfill, it will carry you right down to the ground for you to commit to him. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. I'm Carrie Ann Green, and I'm here today from Canada, Newfoundland, and Labrador. And today's really a blessing for me. I had it all planned, and I'm so happy to be here. You know, I feel that no one has forced me to, to do this. No, no one has coerced me or anything. I made the decision on my own. I planned it. It's here. It's happening. I feel that the time is appropriate. The time is right. The time has come. And I'm ready. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Anne Marie Cameron. The reason why I want to baptize Jesus had died on the cross. It, he has paid it all for my sin. And this morning I stand here. I am no longer a slave to here. here. I am a child of God. Wonderful. Thank you. Hello, good morning. I'm Marianne, and I'm here today to give my life Hold to the Lord. Hold on, my lady. Tell us your name, please. Marianne Pickersgill. Good. And I'm here today to give my life to the Lord. And the reason for this, many years ago, at one particular time, I dreamed that the old place seems different and the Lord is coming. And I dreamed the same thing four times within which I dreamed one last year. And this time, the 19th of this month, I dream that the sky has turned into green and the birds full all over in black. And I see some elements I couldn't make it out. And the Lord said, um, I dream I said, um, it's coming to his world. The time is come. And I wake up. But when I wake up, I lie on my back. And I said, no, this dream seems so real. Then a song come to me and said, you better get right with God. Come and do it now. And I said, yes, this is the time. I have to do it. After to do it. And then one particular morning, I'm going to work, which is Wednesday, and getting ready to go to work, and I normally sing a song. And this song popped in my head and said, the Lord is coming, pass his way, reach out and touch the Lord. And I said, yes, this is it. So I have to come and make my choice today. <laughs> Wonderful. Good morning. My name is Damaria Da Costa. And the reason I want to give my life to the Lord is, like, when I was 12, I've always watched um, the crucifixion movie. But when I was 12, I watched one specifically in Patwa, and that one changed my life. Because when I watched it, I finally understood. And now I want to give my life to the Lord because I'm finally ready to be one of his Wonderful. Good morning. My name is Carol Smith, and I want to baptize because I want to be in the number when the saints go marching in. Good morning, everyone. I want to baptize because a lot of confusion in my life, and I want to give God a chance. Wonderful. All right, hold on down there, sir. You testify now. Good morning, people. God is good. My name is Kevin Brown. The reason why I Put want... Put the mic up to your mouth, sir, and tell us why you want to be baptized. My name is Kevin Brown. The reason why I love God and I want to baptize, God is good. God has brought me through a whole lot of things. I have been shot. I have been chopped. I have been... I have a vein bust in my head right now. I've been shot three times on this foot. I've been a part one fight the man chop me up. I ask for forgiveness when the man will go for kill him. See the man chop me up. One vein bust in my head. God, you have me here for a reason, Almighty. Almighty, you have me here for a reason. Bless you. You have me here for a reason. Wonderful. God bless you, sir. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Small, and the reason why I want to give my life to God because without God, we are nothing. And I just want to 
know that he's my savior, and I just want to give my life to him. Wonderful. Morning, everyone. My name is Demar Reed. I'm actually from Kingston. Yeah, they asked me why I wanted to give my life to the Lord. I said, why not? That is not favored by anyone, but I believe in our Heavenly Father after this. Wonderful. Bless you, son. Good day, everyone. My name is Dean. Dean Bennett. The reason why I want to give my life to Christ. Hold on, you're a young man talking in the mic so we can hear you. The reason why I want to give my life to Christ is because why not? Honestly, I have been through a lot and God has been by my side each day and I just want to get closer to him each of the day. Wonderful. Good morning, everyone. I'm Venetia Hansen. I came here on Wednesday with my son in a taxi. I exhaust private doctors. I, gave, I was given a referral to go to Bustamante. My son has been sick from January. Doctors can't find his complaint. And Wednesday I said to him, I'm coming to fasting service. And he said, Mommy, I can't stand. And I went and I looked at taxi and he said, Mommy, I don't think I can go. And I said, if you got dead this morning, you got dead in a church, come here, I got fasting. <laughs> and when I came to the fasting, the Spirit told me to speak to a sister and I told her, because I had called before, but who they referred me to was not here. And when I spoke to the sister, she went into the deliverance room around the back and said something to the prior warriors that were around there. And they said I should come with my son. And I come into the church for my son and I took him around there. And God delivered my son. He will be going back to school when school reopens. This has been taking place from January. So people, when you're coming to this church, don't look at the big, pretty building, the power and the healing of God is in this place. I am also a backslider. And when I saw, I've always told God that I'm coming back to him. But when I saw that God healed my child in my backslidden state, I said, God, now is the time. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Wonderful. Good morning. My name is Charmaine Lutchman. In 2022, I was very sick from one doctor to another. They keep telling me I have fibroids. I have arthritis, I have all these things, and I've been just sick, going down, going down, going down, getting slim, not eating, just drinking water, and eating white bread. I came here on the 3rd of October. When I came here, I came to the first altar call right here, and I was standing. I couldn't stand any longer. I went down on my knees, and then I lie down. And Miss Michelle came to me and she said to come. I said to her, I couldn't move. She said, Jesus said to just call him one time. Just one time. And, and when I said Jesus, my whole body was releasing whatever that was, I don't know. But I was just calling Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they took me around the back and they pray for me. I vomit. I vomit. She and Miss Brown. They say I had demonic in my body, in my vagina, in my breast, in my whole ear. I was in pain, pain. And I went home. I keep coming to church, coming to church and playing around. But today I decide to give God my life because it could have been taken from me. Bless you all. Wonderful. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ripton Monroe. And I want to make Jesus my Lord and Savior because I'm a backslider, you know? And this is something that I planned. And as Ecclesiastic said, there's a time and place for everything. And now is my time. Good morning, everyone. My name is Janet Murray. I decided to give my life to God today because it has been too long. Good morning. My name is Marcia Robinson. 
The reason why I want to baptize is because I don't want to die in sin. Because the Bible says there is no repentance in the grave. You pray for me while I pray for myself in Jesus' name. Good morning. I'm Cora Malcolm Campbell. I'm here this morning to renew my life with God. I came to the fasting and I was on fasting. And the Spirit of God moving me in, a, in my prayer and said to me, a fresh start. And when you get that fresh start, I will lift you higher and higher and higher. And I'm here this morning to give a fresh start by rebaptizing again in Jesus' name. Glory to God. I'm no longer a slave. By the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimonies, most time we stop it right there. But there's a deeper dimension to that verse. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, and we love not our lives unto the dead. So you are giving up that worldly life to surrender to the new life in Jesus Christ love not your life unto the death we pray for you now that the lord will sustain all of you by his abundant grace would you bow your head please here point your hand to them everybody father in jesus name we thank you for this very special baptism we did not have it planned we have scheduled baptism dates that are established but oh God, this wonderful sister from Canada and the other two who have requested baptism before they return. Here are many others who have joined in, divinely ordained by you. We pray that you touch them now. Anoint them with fresh oil. 
from head to toes. Let not one fall by the wayside. Let not one become an unfruitful vine. But let them be bearers of fruits of righteousness in the name of Jesus. We pray that you minister to them in all areas of their lives. And Father, when all is said and done, and time shall be no more, together we with them and the saints of all ages shall experience the best which is yet to come. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Congregation, you can be seated. We're almost there. I want you to say after me, all of you standing here, I confess that I believe in Jesus Christ as the son of the living God. I believe in his death, his burial, and his resurrection. I believe also in his second coming to judge this world in majesty and power. I therefore renounce the world, the flesh, sin, and the devil, and pledge to walk in the newness of life in Christ Jesus. I know in the presence of God, angels, and this assembly do take my solemn vow. Raise your right hand, please. Thy vows, O Lord, are upon me until death. Thy vows, O Lord, are upon me until death. Thy vows, O Lord, are upon me until death. A vow I dare not break. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we once again commit these precious souls to you and ask you to seal them by the Holy Spirit. O oh God, as they enter the waters of baptism, as it was with you and John the Baptist in the Jordan River, so, it may, so may it be with them and all the baptizers. We commit the baptizers to you. And ask you to strengthen them. We commit the attending prayer mothers to you. And elders and deacons. We commit the mighty ocean to you. Let everything be in order. In the name of Jesus Christ. And when all is said and done. You shall get the glory, the honor and the praise. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Sunday morning we'll be celebrating resurrection morn. The Lord tarries. Jesus in his resurrection message in Matthew chapter 28. He met with, with his disciples. And among the many things he said to them. He says all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you. All way, even at the end of the age. According to your testimony and confession of faith. That commission has been given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we will baptize all of you by that commission, by his authority. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Everybody clap your hands and praise God. Okay. The attending deaconesses or missionaries or prayer warriors they are prepared to prepare you ladies
for the water. So if you be kind enough to just go to my right, somebody will lead you. See her going there? Follow the woman with the bag in her hand, black and yellow, <laughs> and the others. Not, not the men, the ladies. Go on, ladies. All right. And the men, follow this, this, this elder here. He will lead you someplace and make sure you get changed and prepare because we just take you to the ocean to baptize you and celebrate the victory. Amen. Well, glory to God. Somebody give God praise. What a wonderful morning. Glory, stand with me, everybody. Well, glory coming. And it won't be long. Church, I will sing you a brand new song. I shall be happy. Brave and strong. Glory coming. And it won't be long. Oh, glory coming. And it won't be Together, sing the song. Glory coming, and it won't be long. I sing it, a brand new song. Oh, I shall be happy, brave and strong. Glory coming, and it won't be long. One more time. Oh, glory coming, and it won't. Be you could do so after a while if you got your relatives there don't you leave them alone raise your right hand with me please uh, let's say it although this is good Friday I am Thank you for watching this live broadcast. Please like, share, and subscribe if you were blessed and inspired. Remember to visit our website at www.pfmfamily.org for more information. Stay tuned and be blessed.